Hello fantastic people, I hope you are doing great. Today we are going to talk about verbals visibility. So if you are wondering whether your verbals should be public or serialized private, you are in a good place. Let's start by talking about the cross-class visibility. On my character I have two scripts which communicate with each other. First one, the player input, as the name suggests, grabs input and stores it in variable. And then the player script, which in the start method grabs the player input script and stores it in the variable, and then when relevant uses the input information it provides. Now it does so by using the variable from the player input, called movement. It can do so because of the access modifier applied to that variable. Access modifier is that one word before the type of the variable, in our case public. When a variable or method is public, it can be accessed by other classes. Let's quickly create a private variable attack. Now let's try to access it in our player script. As you see, we get an error. The message is very, very clear. Other classes cannot access private variables and methods. Let's change the access modifier to public. As you see, the error is gone. On the first glance it looks like everything is alright, but what happens if we try to assign any new value to those variables from outside the script? We can do that. Sometimes it might be something you want to be able to do, but in our case it may have terrible consequences. It would be great to have a way to make a variable accessible from outside the script, but do not allow other scripts to modify it. Turns out, there is a way to do that. We can have different access modifiers for getters and setters of properties. So in our case, we can leave the get public, but change the set to private. Now our variables are accessible from outside the script, but no other script can modify them. Now I create a new class and make it extend our player input. If you are not too familiar with inheritance, don't worry at all, we'll cover that pretty soon. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so you do not miss it out. I add the update method to my class and inside of it I try to assign a new value to the movement variable. I'm getting an error. Do you know why is that? It's because our setter is set to private. Let's for now remove the getters and setters. As you see, suddenly we got an access to the variables provided by the base class. Let's check if we'll have access to a private variable. No, we don't have it. Would be great if there was a modifier that allows us to expose variable to its subclasses, but doesn't allow other scripts than that to access it or modify it. Turns out there is. It's called protected. So long story short, the protected access modifier allows us to expose a variable to any class inheriting from the base class containing it, but at the same time to hide it from all other classes. The public, private and protected access modifiers are the ones that are commonly used. There is also access modifier called internal. This one is not that relevant for the general scripts we write in Unity, but just in case you are interested, in most cases in Unity it would behave like public modifier. The only difference is that variables marked as internal are not accessible from other assemblies. If you would like to know more about it, I'm linking the documentation in the description. Now let's have a look at the visibility of variables in the inspector. If we have a look at the scripts in the inspector, we can see two variables exposed from them. Movement of the type vector and speed of the type float. Let's have a look why we can see them. In my player script, the speed variable has a attribute serialized field. There are several things it does, but the one that is relevant for us is that it exposes a private variable to the inspector. Now, if we look inside the player input script, we can see that the movement variable is public. That's a second way to make a variable visible in the inspector. As we discussed before, we don't want anyone to modify our movement variable. There are several ways to hide it. First one that you already know is to make the setter private. There is also a second way to do it. You can hide any exposed variables by using the hide in inspector attribute. What's important, it works well also for private serialized variables. If you don't have any use case for that now, don't worry. One will come sooner or later. Let's sum everything up. We have three commonly used access modifiers. Private, public and protected. Public makes a variable accessible from other classes. 
It also automatically exposes the variable in the inspector. If we would like to hide this variable, we can use the hide in inspector attribute. Second access modifier is private. It doesn't allow any other class to see and modify our variable. It doesn't mean, however, that the variable cannot be exposed in the inspector. We can achieve that using the serialized field attribute. And lastly, we have protected access modifier. This one makes the variable accessible in the subclasses of the class it resides in. So let's have a look at some common questions. If there is no access modifier, what is the visibility of the variable? A variable without an access modifier behaves like private one. When should I make my variables public and when I should make them private? In general, it is good practice to expose as little information from the class as we can. Each variable should start private and then the access should be extended only when it's needed. Why should I even care about it? That is actually not only good, but also a very important question. As the projects grow in complexity and size, it is very easy to lose track of what is actually happening and where. Giving proper access to variables is one of the ways we can make it easier. If we look at variable and it's private, we know it is not modified anywhere else. On the other hand, seeing variable marked as protected gives us a clue that somebody expected us to get interested in using it in the derived classes. Also using the right access modifiers makes breaking our code a little bit more difficult. How should I make my variables visible in the inspector? Should I make them public or private but serialized? As a base rule, I'd say the access modifier should never be changed just to make the variable visible in the inspector. That means if the variable should not be modified by other scripts, I would keep it private and add the serialized field attribute. On the other hand, I wouldn't leave all of the public variables visible in the inspector. If there is a public variable that I wouldn't like anybody to modify from the inspector, I will simply use the hiding inspector attribute. And a last question, do all types of the variables can be exposed in the inspector? Unfortunately not, all primitive types can and some complex too. Just as an example, you can expose variables for game objects, vectors, arrays and lists. On the other hand, there are some useful types which cannot be exposed, for example, dictionaries, sets and structs. There are ways around that, but this is not subject of this episode. I hope today you learned something interesting. Have a fantastic day, love you and bye bye.